So in this video, we're gonna go over the WB41 from Greg Smith Equipment. This is your budget, pretty well suited tire balance. <laughs> It's got a uh, power right here on the left-hand side of it. So I'll go ahead and just switch this thing on and I'll let it zero out. Once it's zeroed out, I'll figure out what size adapter I need for my wheel. I know that it's gonna be this guy right here. So I'll just slip this baby on and I'll go ahead and put my wheel and tire on. Once I find the hole, go ahead, get all the way put on and lift up, give it a little bit of a wiggle so I know I'm centered. And once it gets a little tight, I'll just step on the brake to hold the wheel in place. As I finish tightening it up, I'll just spin it, make sure that she's on even and that she's not moving up and down and that I've got it well centered, which it looks like I have. Now that the machine is on, I have to go ahead and set it up. Now the setup on this is super simple. You're first gonna start with your distance measurement which is used with this prop rod here. You'll go ahead and just measure to the inside of the tire. And this here looks like 98 millimeters. So I'll go ahead and just click down until I get to 98. Now the width is referring to the width of the wheel. So I'll go ahead and go to the inside edge of the wheel and to the inside edge of the wheel, just like so. And this is a seven inch wheel. So go ahead and put this away. Now I'm just gonna click up to seven. And the diameter, I'll just look at the tire, and this is a 16 inch wheel. So I'll just click up to 16 inch wheel. Now, this right here is a steel wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click function, which is going to allow me to move the wheel weights over. Now this is the inside of the wheel, and this is the outside of the wheel. So if you're looking at where you're gonna put your weights, you have your inner and your outer. Now once you have all this information entered in, you can go ahead and just shut it and let it spin up. It'll spin up and then it'll tell you where you need to add weight. So this right now is telling me that I need to put one ounce and 0.5 ounces on. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my wheel weights that match this wheel and then I'll go ahead and hammer it on. So this is my 0.5 ounce, so I'll go ahead and follow the markers until they match up. So if I come over here, we can see that right here, we've got 0.5 ounces. So I'm gonna find the very top and the very center. And how I do that is just coming on the opposite side here and getting dead smack in the middle. All right, so there was a hidden wheel weight that I didn't see. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-spin this and then it will tell me where I need to add weight. So now it's asking for 1.25 ounces and one ounce. So I'll go over here and I'll grab my one ounce weight. So I'll go over here, I'll grab my 1.25 ounce weight for the inside, right? And this is all lit up here, so I know this is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my weight right here and smack it on. And then I'm gonna go spin it again till I get to my one ounce, which is right here. And I'll go ahead and grab my one ounce weight which is this beautiful guy, lock it in, find the top of the tire, and clamp it on. Now I'll go ahead and spin it and check to make sure that my weights were put into the right place. Alrighty, so now it's saying 50-50. Now if it's asking for the weight where I had it originally, that means I didn't put the weight in the right place. This is asking for 0.5 ounces, just on the other side of where I put the weight, and this is asking for 0.5 ounces just on the other side of where I put the weight. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just do one side at a time now. And I'm just gonna add my 0.5 ounce and my 0.5 ounce. So with my outside here, top of the rim is right here. And I'll go ahead and spin it to make sure that my outside is balanced. All right, so we zero zeroed out on the outside, so we know we're good there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside, just asking for another 0.5. So I'll just reach in here. So I'm just gonna actually move this over just the hair because I think that will do the trick. So I'm just gonna grab this guy here. I'm gonna split the difference between the two places of mounting. 
I think that's going to help. So we'll see how this treats us. Alrighty, so it's still asking for another 1.5 ounces. Pretty much right at, a, or just another half ounce right at the top. So I'm gonna grab my little half ounce right here and get her nice and centered. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it in. All right, so now this tire has zeroed out, so it's perfectly balanced. We'll go ahead and throw this one on the car.